Important warning. This instruction is meant for professional espresso machine technicians and should not be used without consulting the appropriate manual. Use caution using and maintaining the machine. Part 1. Connect water. The installation process starts with connecting the machine to the water supply. Water quality changes from location to location, so have a local water expert help you to decide what water treatment system is needed. Connect the water treatment system to the water mains. Note that the required hose and the water treatment system are not included in the shipment. First mark one pump with an S for steam and the other with a C for coffee. This will help later on during the installation. It does not matter which pump, with or without T-fitting, is used for coffee or steam. Use one of the supplied short hoses to connect the water treatment system to the T-fitting on one of the pumps. The arrows on the pump indicate where the treated water enters and where the pressurized water exits the pump. Now use another of the short hoses to connect this T-fitting to the inlet of the other pump. Then attach the two supplied long hoses to the outlets of both pumps. The hoses supplied have a straight fitting on one end and a knee fitting on the other. Depending on the placement of the pumps, the hoses can be connected in either way. Use an open-ended spanner to tighten all connections just made. The inlets on the machine can be found under the left leg. The water inlet for the steam boiler is marked with an S. The water inlet for the coffee boilers is marked with a C. Now connect the two hoses from the pumps to the coffee and steam inlets of the machine. Making sure that the hose from the pump marked S gets to the S inlet. And that the hose from the pump marked C goes to the C inlet. After connecting the machine to the water supply, the two waste pipes on the machine should be connected to the drain using the two plastic hoses supplied. Use the clamps supplied to fix the hose to the waste pipes. Ensure the hoses run downwards over their entire length, not only from machine through the counter, but also under the countertop to the drain. Now open the water mains. The heat exchangers and coffee boilers will start to fill immediately, even without the pumps running. Before continuing, check for leaks at all connections just made and tighten if necessary. Part 2. Connect electricity. All the electrical connections must be made by a qualified electrician and the main supply prepared before installation. For more information, refer to our pre-installation guide. Before going any further, ensure that the machine is switched to the off position on the main switch. Also, all the temperature controllers must be switched off. Toggle switches in the down position. Ask a local electrician to do the following. The electrician can now connect the pump cables from the machine to the pumps. Take the cap off of the motor on the pump marked S. Get the pump cable marked S and connect it to this motor. Check the connections and replace the cap. Repeat this process with the pump marked C using the cable also marked C. The electrician can now connect the machine to the main supply using either a wall mounted connection box or a suitable plug. The phases must be connected correctly to avoid damage. Part 3. Filling up. Once all the electrical connections are made, continue with filling the machine. Turn the main switch to the no heat position. After a few seconds, 
the pumps will engage automatically and the steam boiler will start to fill. After approximately 120 seconds, the pumps will disengage. This is a built-in safety measure and can be seen by the blinking lights on the touchpads or under the levers. Reset the machine by turning the main switch back to off, then again to no heat. Depending on steam boiler size and water pressure, this procedure needs to be repeated three to six times. until the machine stops filling without the lights blinking. Activate each group to bleed air out of the system. This may be done while the steam boiler is filling. The groups need to be repeatedly activated until water runs freely. Part 4. Heating up. When the steam boiler and all coffee boilers are filled with water and have been bled, turn the main switch to the on position. Switch the toggles on to activate the temperature controllers of the steam and coffee boilers. All boilers will now heat up. This takes about 20 to 30 minutes. The machine is at operating temperature when the displays of the PID controllers at the front of the machine indicate 93 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit for coffee and 125 degrees Celsius or 257 degrees Fahrenheit for steam. To adjust the coffee pump pressure, we need back pressure at the group. So prepare a filter holder with coffee, exactly as you would normally set coffee, and lock it into a group. Activate the group and check its pressure gauge. With the group running, adjust this pressure to 9 bar. By turning the screw at the side of the coffee pump with a screwdriver, do not go beyond 10 bar. Repeat this as necessary to set the correct pressure. To adjust the temperature of the hot water, the pressure of the steam pump needs to be adjusted. This pump delivers cold water which is mixed with boiling water directly from the steam boiler. To increase the hot water temperature, lower the pump pressure. Decrease the hot water temperature by raising the pump pressure. To set volumes for shots and hot water, check our detailed explanation in our manual. Adjust the drip tray to the ideal height for the cups you are using. Finally, turn on the backlight. You are now ready to pull shots.